We're going to look at a more advanced way of working with responsive pictures and images. So let's just take a quick look at the page as it stands. So at the moment we've got a big section at the top and we've got some text here which is taking a third of a column and I'm going to put an image in. I'm actually going to put the image before this but the image is going to be two thirds of the browser window. So let's go ahead and add that in. Now we haven't created this two third class. We didn't do that in the CSS grids tutorials. So we'll go ahead and add that in right now. And it needs to go inside the media queries and it'll be the same on both of them. So the grid column end is gonna span eight. Okay, so that will work great for that. And then inside here, rather than putting an image in, we're going to use a relatively new attack called picture. And what that does is it allows us to put in different source material in here. So if we say source media, we're essentially doing a media query at this point. So here we can see that the max width of this is gonna be 600 pixels. And at 600 pixels, we want it to be a very specific image. So we can see we've added in a small image there. I've actually even written across the image small so we can see that it's definitely that small one that's being used. Let's copy that line. And now we're gonna say our max width for this is 1024 pixels, which is gonna be a sort of tablet size and we'll use medium in there. So now we have the medium image and we can see that it's got medium written on it. And then we do an image, regular image kind of tag in here. And what this will do is it's a fallback, but also this is the tag that is sort of used on this, the page. And these sources above it will swap out this particular source that's in here. So this won't be the large one, but based on the media queries that it's got, it will swap this one out. So let's put the large in. And if I just hover over that, we can see that is the larger image. And then we put the alt on here and the alt will be applied to all of them. And also, if you want to put a class, we put the same class and the class will be applied to all of them. So we're going to use the RSP class that we've previously used. And that just sets the max width to 100%. Okay, so let's take a look at this and see it in action and save the page. And inside here, I'm just gonna right click and inspect it. And we're gonna look at it now through responsive and we can see that with the responsive view, so as we drag in and we take it down past 10, 24 pixels to make it smaller than that, we see it swap out and we now have the medium image. We go down further and we have the small image for the small size. So the good thing about this is that it's a little bit more um, progressive and it means that people on very small screens will never load the larger image. They'll only ever load the smaller image. So it's, it conserves bandwidth and it means that they're, they'll get the page loading much quicker because they won't have to load those extra pixels that are there. So the smaller image will work out much better for them. So it's a, a much more um, enhanced way of delivering images and content to your screens and enabling it to have a very good responsive look across all devices.